This is my visit to Barrel Camado. I wanted to see these amazing barbecue smokers up close in person, see how they're made and find out about the people behind them. All right. How do we get from this to this? Essentially, we take the bands and then we sand all the staves so that we end up with a, a sanded barrel. The next thing we do is re reinstate the bands and we would punch each stave so the rivets aren't going to be regular they are going to follow the staves so once we've punched all the staves which is about 36 ish punches all the way around each hoop we then drill with a two and a half mil bit each of those punched holes then we step up to a 3.5 mil bit so that that allows the stainless steel screw to bite into the wood. Then we go up to a five mil bit to go through the hoop because the stainless steel won't go through the steel, but it will go into the wood. So we need to clear that. So we get a five mil for each, each of these and we countersink each of these and then we drive in the stainless steel hoop. So the operations are, are in the hundreds and hundreds just to get these rivets into each of the hoops and each of the staves and we do it for the four hoops so that's just like oh that's just the rivets and you're there do, 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 do. <laughs> it takes ages this one's quite a bit further forward um, so clearly we've cut the uh, the lid off this we've also cut the micro vents we've also cut the the main vent and we've laid the micro vents inside so that actually now these these are the vents here so they actually run under the 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 refractory you've got behind this refractory you've got ceramic blanket and this is the insulating refractory that comes in so it forms now the air box and forms space to hold the fire pit which again is wrapped in a ceramic blanket and then used with a different refractory, which is we call a hot face refractory, which is up to 1800 degrees C. The second thing that happens is that we uh, reinforce the refractory with stainless steel rebar. So a, a very fine sort of mesh stainless steel. And we also use stainless steel M10 nuts and washers to secure the hinge. To the to the to, and this then of course is is impregnated into the cast so one of the things i guess to note is that each barrel comes with a, a serial number and we have a four digit uh, code and we photograph each of the stages of the build so that when the customer gets his barrel it comes with their serial number and they're able to connect to the website and it takes them through their barrel and all the stages to a complete barrel commando. Right, so do we want a little bit of a, a, a demo on what this is? So this is um, a, an aerogel impregnated ceramic blanket. And what that does is provide us with a very strong thermal barrier between the fire and the wood. I can't get too close because my thumb is actually getting the, the blast from the heat. Yeah, I mean, the things that we make, Alex, is the, is, you know, we make, oh, I'd, I'd need a, a top bend here, but we make the pucks, we make the bungs, we make the, we actually make all the, you know, it's, it's quite, it's quite something. Um, we get these and these and these, and that makes, you know, makes our top vent. So this is a, an example of a sort of a piece of teak and we obviously put our logo in there and then what we would do is we would put this in here. This would be connected to here and you can see the... Yeah. And then this is connected to this <laughs> and then is mounted inside here. 
which forms the, uh, the, 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 the top vent. So bottle openers, we would, you know, you could start life with something uh, which is obviously uh, a barrel stave. Mm -hmm. And we would then obviously cut these up into, into chunks. And we would go over to the drill press to drill out the holes. And it's really very simple. We sand it all down and we polish it with beeswax. And then what you have is a really nice to hold and you've got the curve of the, of the barrel that makes a very nice lever. Um, as a, a, just a nice, easy to use bottle opener. Obviously, you know, as a schematic, you've got the, uh, at the, at the very lowest level, you can choose to have full heat deflector or a half heat deflector or however you want, you want to set it up. Then you can come up to the, the, the first level, which these are cast iron grills. And uh, what you're able to do also, you're able to actually take the fire and move it up another level. So at the top level here, you've now got, so there's about a 20, um, 20 centimeter gap between, between these levels. And now at the top level, you've got the rotisserie, the cast iron grates, and then obviously that's a, that's a pizza stone. Thanks to Gwyn for these videos. The last video that I filmed whilst I was down there is gonna be this one, and it's the kit that comes with the Barrel Commando. Please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss this, and I'm really looking forward to using all of this and cooking at home on mine.